Begin by taking inventory of all the equipment necessary to install the Lencore iNet Operating Platform, or OP for short. It's important to review the site plans to find the location for each OP, the zones, channels, and speaker placement. Before beginning any other work, take a moment to review the install manual and safety guidelines. For your safety and the safety of others, please follow all manufacturer's recommendations during the install process. Determine the best location to hang the OP according to the site plan. Climb up into the plenum and screw or shoot the hanger with chain attached into the deck. Attach the tripod chain to the top of the OP. As long as the OP hangs clear and free, there is no need to measure chain length. Each OP has a number and must be installed in sequence, again following to the site plan. Then connect the data in and data out cables. All cables should be properly labeled prior to installation. Connect the power source wires. These should be black to negative, red or white to positive, and a ground wire. It's very important to have a common ground with the system to avoid any interference. Please refer to your job site wire diagrams which should have been included with the system. If you're installing an iNet system with paging, you'll need to run a ground from the Music Page interface, also known as the MPI, located in the Lencore branded enclosure to the first iNet OP. The common ground must be established between OPs anytime you have a new power zone and when you go between floors. Maintain correct polarity throughout the system as this is critical. Connect the speaker wires out from the OP. iNet has four channels. These are labeled A, B, C, and D. Each channel has the capacity for up to eight speakers. Be sure to check all cable connections for a secure fit. 